the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Meccano app so that you can control the robot car. That can be done through going to the Play Store. And we're going to search for Meccano. That's going to bring you up the app there. Installing that takes a couple of minutes, uh, 80 just over 80 megabytes. So, once it's installed, you end up with this icon on your screen for the tablet. So, let's see what happens. There we go, mechanical starting up. So we need to download 10 megabytes of scheme assets. A stable Wi-Fi connection is recommended. Well, I've got that. So let's see what happens. It's not the most enthralling watch you'll ever see, but this is busy downloading the assets. We're at 50% at the moment. Get through. You only have to do this once um, and then it's already all there for you. Let's turn on Bluetooth, we're going to allow it to do that. And wants to allow only while using the app. Okay. Welcome. All this stuff. We're using the set 10. Proceed to my main menu. And then you've got set 10. It doesn't seem to. And there we are. Down, let's download the stuff for that. Launch it. And then we're through to the main screen for it. Now. You can get through, you can, when you uh, boot the app again, it'll come straight through to this. You won't have to do that, but now you've got a choice of slider mode or program too. We've gone to slider mode. It wants to connect to a set 10 brain. Now that you're connected up, you can control the servo, uh, the, well, that which is the power to the wheels can be controlled through this. Ah, lock them together so that you've got different locking screen value. You're actually only using channel three for this, but if you pull it up, that pulls it one way, then pull it back down, spins it the other way. So that's your control, that's your drive. The servo, there. You've got to set the degrees that you can allow it to do. Now at the moment, that's on full on. So we'll accept that. See what happens. So you can go to that extent there. And in the middle, if you set it up right, it's just about fully ahead. And then let's say you're setting that, and you're setting that. You can, if you want to, Readjust those, those buttons here, get you to edit servo, select a slider, there we go. You can flip it, which means that basically speaking, it will go in the opposite directions when you do those. If it was set up wrong for the setup that you've got there, so if I click flip, that's done that. And now when I'm back in, that's going to work like that. Let's pause to it. But if I go back to edit servo, select that one, select that one, you can then set the degrees here that you're going to go around the straight head. Now I'm not quite sure what the correct settings would be, but you can go there to there. That's set at 112 to 187. Straight ahead is not 90 degrees, which you might have expected. Um, I'm not sure what straight ahead is to be honest, but it would appear if you're going as tight as you can do, 
it does it at 160 degrees so saying that is straight ahead I'm not quite sure where it gets that figure from but, but let's open it out a little bit from there that's 116 that's right that's 99 that way 191 that way just for everything as I say I'm not sure what the optimums are but once you've done that what you'll find is that these controls then don't take it as far in the directions as you would want to do and buggering about with it is going to work out what the best settings are going to be but I haven't got that far yet um, if you want to program this particular thing here channel 2 that, that's the infrared sensor now that's you're getting into programming which you would use the programming tool which comes up like this and that's basically drag and drop block programming um, I need to learn how to use this myself but you can drag options onto there and they stick in with each other there and you can build up programs like that and follow the logic down there I'm just putting random things there together now but it and I have no idea what would happen if I played that I haven't played with this program until but it is just basically speaking block programming and drag and drop uh, and then at some point you would presumably be able to upload that presumably just by pressing launch when you've got the uh, Bluetooth connection to it and that would program it into there and then do whatever from there so that's a quick rundown of how you set it up hope that's helpful to somebody